Hey guys, Tyro here. Welcome back to the episode of GTR Racing, this time episode 101. I'm starting once again with another race that I wasn't actually in, so I ended up spectating once again because I just missed out on it. I got stuck on the uh, options being set screen, so I literally just missed being in this race. I'm on board here now with the Gatti Green. Well, we're on board with the next H Proto. There's been a crash. There's a giant square in the middle of the road. Okay, there's been a huge crash. Okay, that's been a bit, been a bit airborne. It ramps over the top there with a Wagner. But uh, look at look at recovery there, though. Actually, there's a Sultan RS. Why is there a Sultan RS in this race? The cars you see in these long haul, long distance races, I mean, and then me taking out again, actually, nice recovery though into the wall. I mean, they're level 80, so this is going to be a stock uh, X80 Proto that this guy is in. A fair play to him though. He's actually doing pretty well here. Triforce in 8th place. Wasn't a bit higher up until he got completely taken out twice, so, uh, unfortunately, nothing really you can do too much about that in these kind of races. Like I said, he's in a stock car, I'm pretty sure, unless he, unless he somehow has like four million to buy one of these things, which he, which he might, you never know. I have no idea who this person is, so they might. But uh, a straight line speed, there's not going to be too much difference between a stock car and a custom one, so when he's actually hit, hits into the wall, they're going to fly over the barrier flare, he's like, no, oh, I'll just get stuck down the gap there. Really unlucky there for uh, for Triforce, just managed to find uh, the gap that you didn't want to find. Honestly, I thought it was going to go straight over to the side, but uh, it's ATS. Yeah, it's not the easiest car in the world to uh, to drive, even for me. That's why I don't use it all too often. So it's really on stunt races or any uh, long distance straight line speed races that I, I end up doing myself. But now then, when it actually loads on the front two cars, actually have a look at what's going on here from the front. We've got an A11, so something which we didn't see in the the, uh, the last long race video, but something you should really expect to see more often. And actually make contact there with the Wagner, so you can shut the Wagner off the edge, you know, they're, 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 they're mounting each other, they're both taking each other there off of the edge, so that really hasn't worked out there for the A11, but honestly, car there for the A11, I mean, I mean they got what they wanted to do, take out the Wagner, but then again, they took up themselves there in the process, and so now then, we've got a, uh, another Wagner, uh, now leading the race with a very interesting username for the person driving it. So uh, I'm not going to say it, but yeah, you can read it. So this 811, I mean, I, I haven't seen really any, any other fast cars in this race. I mean, for fast for terms of straight line speed things anyway. So they might have a good chance of catching up in the game. I would expect catch up a slushy to be on as usual. But it depends though. Oh, okay, there's some interesting jumps here. I and mean, this makes this a bridge section a lot more interesting. And then I could only decide, so yeah, it's just, that's definitely makes, uh, makes the bridge there a lot more interesting. Just putting some just giant ramps over the uh, the top of it. Now then, let's have a look here now then, as someone different once it actually uh, decides to load again. So, the loading times here, take, they're really taking a long time in this race anyway. Now, up front actually got a Nero Custom, so actually there's two cars in this race, which would make sense to be in this race. And we've got Man Gravy, that is a brilliant username, Man Gravy. Although, don't interpret that as something uh, something different. Although, they're being caught up behind now by a, gr a grey car. I think it's a Wagner I just saw there from the crash. Actually, no, it's a gold car. And what even is that? That is a car you don't see very often. I don't even know what it is. You see it that, you see it that less. Is that, the, is that the Tesseract? I'm pretty sure it might have Tesseract. They may cut out, though, with Man Gravy. But Gravy, though, he's going to fight back now, maybe. Sort of. Well, I don't know. He's in the slow stream, though, of the, uh, the Tesseract. Gives it a little bit of a nudge. Gives it a bit of payback. And he's going to for a takeout attempt on the Tesseract. Yes, he does. He can be a contact. And just magic try. And the Tesseract actually controls it then as well. So, uh, didn't work out too well there for Gravy. But is he going to have another go? Of course, he's going to have another go. Let's face it. going to make a way on the inside line. You know, you get missing a big contact. You know, he gets skilled. He gets skilled by the Tesseract. Gravy gone straight off the edge. Honestly, karma for Gravy. You had your one attempt to try and knock him off. Didn't work. And then now you're down in. I have actually no idea what position you're in. A lot lower down than what you were. Where are you now, Gravy? You come from first place down to seventh. Where's, uh,. Triforce. You're still in front of Triforce though, so uh, although he's not too far behind, I don't really think. Uh, and now then, let's have a look now uh, back at Triforce. He's still going well towards it. He's going to finish though, so because people are already finishing there, so uh, quite a short race really for what these races are. But GG Triforce finishing the race in a stock Ace 80 Proto with honestly a, a respectable result as well. I think it was about that seventh or eighth, so yeah, GG. Let's Triforce now. I'm born out here with the guy in a Wagner. I'm pretty sure this is the, well, it's not the last place car. I'm pretty sure it might be the last place of the guy. The finish here is just straight straight to the tree. And then, well, we're on to uh, the main race of the video. Once again, in the Zentorno, just like last time. But uh, this is a custom made race, so I can't say any world records in this one. But we can go for a fastest lap, though. That's something you can always achieve. And then, coming up, oh, great. Turn one here. It's the corner of Doom. Forget what I said about fastest lap. We were just actually trying to survive the race. And then actually we get through the corner of the game, so sorry, you can see it's the first corner of the race. As Digigirl now takes the lead of the race, so if we get a track that we know, it's going to be pretty good. So Digigirl, I'm pretty sure she's probably hosting this, so 
She doesn't usually have age track, but then again, you never know until you've done the race. I mean, this is my first time doing this race, so I've got to judge you by this lap how good this track actually is. Maybe yeah, we should be able to slide out this again. Okay, so someone's hitting out to barrier. I mean, honestly, I don't even know how you did that. I mean, you had enough time to actually see the barrier. Uh, no, it just stays late, so we've basically halved our starting position so far. Maybe started down in 12th or 13th, something like that. Actually, now they're into the top five, they're going around this sweeping left hander. Oh, okay, you need to take, you need to break around there, that's the wall, we lose a few places. Look, we're now in this corner, is this a hairpin? No, okay, it's a dark hairpin. He goes through this part where you had the horrible corner from uh, the Rage video from about a month and a half ago, two months ago, something like that. Oh, right, so that's gone, okay, there's a really sweeping corner there, so that corner, it feels like really understeady, I mean, there's probably a way to do that better. Okay, Jojo's in the lead of the race, so uh, it's not his bizarre adventure, it's just he's already won the race, it's Jojo. Once he gets into lead, pretty much like Matex or uh, Drader Blaze, there's no beating them. As we dropped down to 9, so we've had some pretty horrific lines on these past few points. We get a little bit of on there once again, like I said. In this first lap, it's going to be uh, pretty much a caution lap, because I have no idea where I'm going. I'm pretty sure a few people in this race have probably done it before, but then again, Jojo and uh, people like that. Digi, on her day, she's pretty good as well, but Jojo is just so good, honestly, on any track. Honestly, he probably made this track, knowing him. Although, I don't really, I don't really know if he actually makes any track, but now his beaky takes lead in the race, so... Yes, yeah, quite a few top names in this race, so yeah. Fastest lap has definitely gone out the window, even if I survived the corner of Doom and then I'll survive the rest of the lap as well. But my pick for fastest lap of the race, honestly, has to be Jojo. He has some great one lap pace consistency, isn't the best, but we have to see where he is by the end of the race. And by the end of the race, I want to be out of P9. I want to be maybe towards the top 5, that's a slide, because I mean, honestly, I got distracted by the car that just destroyed themselves into the barrier. Now then, we're up into, and then around this next corner we get an okay line in there, a bit of a twitchy line. I, mean, yeah, I, I felt my la my lines on the first out there were better, because I had no idea where to go. So it's pretty much where you throw into the corner and just hope it sticks at that time. It, it was a, it was pretty tragic. And then we've got a white T20 there. But from, if it's got pink wheels, then I know it's uh, that guy from a few videos ago. But honestly, I can't see the wheels from here, so I'm guessing it's a different person. That's how cool you got two, 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 I know people who have multiple of the same car for some reason. I don't really know why, but that's just something that people do. I'm really wide into the barrier, and okay, that's uh, me about 99th place. And there's always something, isn't there? There's always one little thing that just has to be uh, off on the track. I mean, this track, honestly, I like it. Besides that, of course. That corner, I mean, instead of the first time, it was pretty... Uh, it's, it, it wasn't a pleasant corner. But there needs to be some kind of barrier there, like the angle barrier, because it's like, if you hit it, you get, like, forced out back into the uh, where you're going. Notice how a stop dead wall like that, which, unless he's, unless he's, like, one of those really spiky wheels. camera goes to me crash again, and we're just trying too hard now. Yeah, try to carry more speed through there, because, honestly, I my first lap felt slow, now down to 11th, down into P12. Is, is 12th last place? Actually, I think there's a few people still behind me, but, uh, other people who are, like, not the, uh, not the noobs, uh, the people in actually custom cars, I think I'm in last place now. This race has been pretty tragic. Definitely uh, a polar opposite to uh, my last race in the Zentorno from the previous video. And so I'm here into the corner of Doom Pole. So like I said, back on that one, I call that the corner of Doom because, well, it is the corner of Doom. Uphill, just elevation, changing braking zones. They don't do good for me, uphill, downhill. They're, they're, it's not pleasant for me. No, you get past the Zentorno. I, mean, I want to beat them. I'm pretty sure that's the only other Zentorno in this race, unless uh, Jojo and Beaky in that. I know uh, Digi's in the T20, but I want to finish the lead of the Zentonos, or at minimum, lead of... I want to finish ahead of that guy behind me. It feels like I feel like that guy has some pretty good pace as well, but just like me, he don't have the consistency to go with it, because I well. Like, uh, my... I think it was number 894 in my GT videos. Great pace, but no consistency. That's just me if you race, really. So, uh, it's a return to normality. And we've reached now through these corners here. We found it. Well, that, that, that was better. Now then, around the, this uh, awkward corner, taking a little bit of a slight sliding line in, so we can try to get the car turn, which we do around there that time, so... We're in a bit of a no man's land, although I say that, there is two cars here up the road, so my pace is improving. And it's definitely not, not going to be anywhere near fast. I've been mean, just avoid the tree. Yeah, that was a bit, I was a bit indecisive there, which way I want to go. The outside line was quicker, but where I was going was on the inside line, so... Actually, oh, hello, Zentorno. Goodbye, Zentorno. Goodbye, other cars. Oh, don't, don't slap someone. I'm pretty sure I just overtook two people and made one position out of that. Okay, I think I just lost someone, but we're ahead of oh, that Zentorno, which is what I want to be at least, but top 10 is still on the cards possibly, because they're not that far away, maybe about 3-4 seconds or so. That Zentorno is actually right behind me still, they can't have crashed, that has to have been a bit of lag, and where is that straight line speed come from? Can I have some of that? Where did that, where the, that mega over or something, they got like the, uh, the Tauros with that extra like 8th gear or something, what happened there with them? Either way, get that thing though, we got a better line, so... 
Honestly, the fight is on now between me and this super speed Zentorno. If you got a broken Zentorno or something, how have you got that super speed? Honestly, please tell me. I could do with something. I mean, I've got stock wheels on my car, so I should be faster in a straight line and go, where are you going? And yeah, they ran out wide, and that gives us back now. 11th place, the fight for P11. Literally, we're fighting over the wooden spoon. Last place, all the cars that go down to the wall. We've got a nice on their end line, much more committed line. So, honestly, back when I was recording this race live, I'd seen that line on the first lap, but I didn't want to go for it because I didn't know if it was blocked off. I mean, honestly, it's a do or die lap here. Now, is this 10th place in front of us? Well, they're, they're a bit all over the road. Well, they're in a Wagner, so honestly, I'm pretty sure they're going to be in front of me anyway. They're going in for the next point. Where are they going? Was that lag? Was was that lag? Uh, where have they gone? Okay, that has to be a, a back marker of some sort. As JoJo's already finished. Jeez. How far up the road is he? Baking in second place. Yeah, they were so far in front of me. I mean, I, yeah, I've had a tragic race, but I'm not about it. Oh, okay, you've got Simos as well, Digi, and then you've got Callum Carey as well, Vince as well. So many good people in this race. Okay, I see why I'm in 11th place. Literally everyone who's just finished this race in front of me is literally better than me. Oh, the ones I've heard of anyway. Adrian, I don't really know who you are. Kruzek as well, I've never heard of you, so, uh, yeah, I, I can't say for that, but literally, the, the, this race, the top five, top six, is filled with so many good people that, yeah, first last got out of the window. Any chance of winning the race was completely gone out of the window and all. But honestly, what's my fastest lap going to be even anywhere near the front running pace? Well, this guy's given up there. Downs was in this race. He just was in the T20 this time. So, yeah, so many people that I know in this race. And, of course, it was Jojo, my pick, who got the fastest lap of the race with a 1 minute 28. My best, I think it was a 1 minute 35. I was 7 seconds off of the, the front running pace. I know I'm slower than Jojo, but I'm not that much slower, I don't think, anyway. But either way, if you enjoyed uh, these races, Leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, leave a link down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.